okay this is the question which i have practiced today and the question is find the longest common prefix string among an array of strings if there is no common prefix return an empty string so what does uh, let's see an example so let's say input is c c c and the second is c c and third one is again c c c so here if you see what is the common longest common prefix prefix means from start so the longest common is this one right this is kind of a null for this one right so empty there is no so this is the longest common prefix for this an array of a string so answer is cc for this one the it is empty because there is no common right it's an empty and it's t and for this one school summer salt sign salsa so here if you see that school summer salt science see answer lies also within this itself salsa so here what is the common so this is all common uh this is common no uh, somewhere is a then it's c then u so there is no common so answer is s okay so by this three examples question is very clear right so first what i did was i was this approach is actually worked accepted but the time complexity is little high so i feel it's more like a brute force so what i did here was so whatever the array was given let's say a a a comma a a comma a a a let's say this is the array which is given so what i did is i take a first a common prefix string so common prefix string common prefix string currently it is null okay now what i am doing is i am iterating i am iterating over this string so i am iterating over this string right and while i am iterating over this string what i am doing is first if it is null then common prefix is this itself so because it's an initial start right in the start the first string i put the aa itself so when my pointer was here and i know this is just a start so and as how i know i did just a start common prefix is null initially it was null so i assigned it to a a a then i plus uh, plus so it my index goes over here so now my second string common prefix equals to equals to null no it's had a a a now what i am doing is i am iterating over this now i am iterating over this string and matching it with this and try to find out what are all the common so i took one string builder and a string builder and i am checking if this is equals to this then so now you got it right now i am internally iterating over this a particular string and comparing it with with the common uh, this common prefix string the output which i so here a is common so in the string builder i put a then second is this a is common to this index so yes same finish so this index is finished so string builder has a and now i update it to a a so you got it what i am trying to do here so whenever i am iterating so here here, here I, you see that i am iterating over a particular string and comparing with the common prefix so this is just uh, some break points like if common prefix is empty like this one this example so you are at this index now you are iterating over this but this is empty like you want you want to break it up like or if common prefix length is less than equals to i so it might be possible that common prefix is small and the string which you are iterating is bigger so in that case also at this point there is nothing right so we have to stop right and another way where we have to stop is both are not equal so let's say a a b and here a a a so at this when you are currently at this index and when you are comparing so they both are not equal then also we have to break so this is just a break points uh, and after that if everything is equal i am appending into the string builder okay and later 
I am updating my common prefix with the string builder. So here, if you see that the time complexity, what would be the time complexity of this? Uh, so time complexity is one is I am iterating over all the strings. So definitely it's big go of n. And while I am iterating all over the string, I am also iterating over a particular string also. So I'm iterating over this, I'm iterating over this, I'm iterating over this, right? So now let's say if a particular length of a string is M, then it's actually, so it's not big go of N, it's actually big go of M into N, where M is the length of a string, maximum max length of a string, N is the length of an array okay so this seems to be a little high but this is accepted uh, but seems like a, this is a brute force approach so interviewer might not even accept this solution uh, so what i did was uh, after thinking uh this thing so i was looking at this input and one thing which strike to my mind is that here if you see if if I sort it up, let's say, so if you sort it up, what is SALT, SAL, SA. so salsa is the shortest, SAL, SA, then after that SALT, then C, S C H double O, school is the next one, then science, S C I E N C E, then summer, U. S U double M E R summer. So what I'm trying to say is that if you sort it up, then the first and the last one, they are the one which are very distinct apart, right? So here, instead of comparing everything, if I compare the first and the last only, then I will get to know that how much is the longest common prefix. So here if you see that S, yes, they are common. A, no, there it is U. So I know that only S is the one which has to be considered. So I got an output S. I don't have to now iterate over each one. Right? Similarly, C, 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 right? So shortest is this one and the longest is this one. Right? So here, Generally, if you see that, I think CC and this one would be considered as hotter. So here, if you have this pointer, yes, same. Yes, this is also same, but here now it is empty. So this is the output. So what I'm, so here, the, if we consider only the first and the last, then we'll got the distinct one, right? If their last one is, let's say, start with D, then output is empty, right? It is clear, it is empty. But if they are matching, then we have to match only the last, the most distinct one itself. So that's where I did in the second approach. So I sort the arrays first. So sorting complexity is big go of n log n, assuming that it might have used a must sort, right? And then after sorting, this is my first string, this is my last string. Now here I am just comparing the first string and the last string. So I put an index while index is less than first string and index is last, uh, less than last string length, right? So it should be the length between this, right? Index. So what I'm doing is if character at particular index is equals to character at the last string. So the first string, let's say first string was uh, salt. And the last string was summer. So my i is currently at zero, right? So now I am checking i. If first string dot character dot i, which is s, is equals to last string dot character dot i, which is this. Is this equal? i plus plus. I will increment the i. If i a is equals to equals to u, no. Then it will do break, and I find the substring from zero to this i. So I will get S output. So what is the time complexity here? So N log N is for the sorting. 
प्लस आई एम ऑल्सो इटरेटिंग इटरेटिंग एट वॉट इटरेटिंग एट इधर फर्स्ट स्ट्रिंग और लास्ट स्ट्रिंग सो विच एवर इज द स्मॉलर वन टिल दैट इट विल रन बट लेट से वॉट इज बोथ आर सेम एंड द साइज इज लाइक बिग गो ऑफ लेट से एम एम इज द मैक्स लेंथ ऑफ स्ट्रिंग सो हेयर इफ यू सी दैट नाउ दिस इज द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इज दिस कोड राइट विच इज द बैटर देन एम इन टू एन हेयर बिकॉज इफ यू सी दिस इट वुड बी अल्टीमेटली कन्वर्स टू एन लॉग एन द बिगर वन राइट सो दैट्स एंड इट इज ऑल्सो एक्सेप्टेड एंड लिटिल बिट फास्टर कंपेयर टू दिस वन बट या दिस इज द अप्रोच विच आई यूज एंड सॉल्व दिस लॉन्गेस्ट कॉमन प्रिफिक्स क्वेश्चन थैंक यू